hi guys welcome back to my channel and yet another video i hope you guys are doing really really well so today's plan we are going to make candles um i have been doing some burn testing which was there on my previous video and i am just going to update you on how the burn test went um i really loved the way the burning throughout the candle was uh, achieved the only thing which i need to do is just to add the fragrance load which i'm going to do that today but otherwise the wicks are amazing they're perfect for the jars and i'm happy about that so um, i'm going to show you guys um how they actually went on and how they look like right now so yeah i'm going to do that and then today we're actually in the candle studio so actually if you guys want to see a proper candle tour just comment down below and let me know if you guys are interested in doing that then i'll be in a position to do that however i still feel like i really need to revamp this place like the walls are blue i want white just no i love white so there's only things which i have planned for this room and yeah it's just in the progress and it's just in the process so yeah i'm going to do that so first of all i'm going to plan the things which i need to do today because i have quite a lot i am actually rebranding and yeah it's really exciting because i have new jars i am also going to have new labels and yeah it's going to be a little bit simpler but a little bit also details then um oh that's some construction goodness i forgot i forgot anyway yeah um i have that which i need to do i have um labeling which i need to do i have um new cards which i need to design so it's quite a lot i'm sorry if you guys hear that um noise let me just try even close the wind because mm. hey that noise yeah i think now that has reduced the noise i've just closed the windows so yeah that's what i'm going to do so i intend on planning my day writing down the things which i need to do so that at least i am able to achieve a lot within these 24 hours so yeah i am actually excited so right now it's like 10 o'clock in the morning so yeah that's what i need to do and um, that's just about being self-employed you have to plan out your day you have to plan out your week i have so many things which i need to do um i'm also planning on having a website very soon that i've been quite silent on my instagram page on um, i've been quite silent in the instagram page bougie Suns and fragrances and the reason as to why that is so is that i'm doing so many things that i feel like i just need to plan myself properly and then also the fact that i'm rebranding and doing a lot of testing and it's just it's it's a lot so at some point i was even just thinking like should i just maybe get someone to do my social media um that's something which i'm still thinking about and yeah i think i'll make my decision very very soon so yeah that's just everything that's just everything so yeah let's just plan out what we're going to do today and then i'll show you guys the brand testing and then we're going to get on with the candle making guys an update on the burn testing so these were the three which i was testing and they burnt really really well this one in particular and this one burnt really really well this one the reason why there's some wax on the side is because i didn't let it reach the full melt pool and because it was some there was something which i was doing and i had to put it off but of course that's that's why it's like that but otherwise the performance has been really really well first of all i want to trim out this um wigs over here i hope you guys always trim your wigs because oops now that one has fallen down i hope you guys always trim your wigs because it just gives the candle a very very clean burn so that's what i've 
done right now let me remove the middle one yeah so i have just trimmed them yeah so you can see the way this particular one is and with all um this is the natural state of soy wax. This is how you know that this is 100% soy wax. That's how it looks like. It has some frosting on the top and it just has that kind of definition. So this is full percent, 100% soy wax. So yeah, that's how it looks like. And then these other ones have the smoothest tops I have ever seen after burning a candle, which is so nice, which is just amazing. Yeah. Yeah, so that's how they have performed and yeah, so I'm happy about this one. So at least I know exactly how I'm going to do my candle making. So guys, first things first, you know you have to ensure that your hands are protected. So ensure that every time you're making candles, your hands are protected because you know you're going to catch so many things. First, it's because of hygiene purposes and second of all, just to protect your hands in case you touch the fragrance and everything else because some of them can, you know, just be maybe too harsh on the skin or something like that. So just make sure, make sure that your hands are always protected when you're making your candles also ensure that everything you do is well well maintained and I like to wipe down most of my surfaces when I'm making the candles and most of the times even I even sanitize just to ensure that the hygiene is top notch also got this boiler off Amazon but to be honest once I received it you know the tea boilers those ones like maybe in like in huge commercial places I honestly see no difference between this one and that one but um, with time I'm just going to get like now a proper proper wax melter but this one works for now I've used it for quite some time and it's really really working so well so you can get it off Amazon if you're interested in it and yeah it just does the job so it makes um work much more simple as compared to the double boiler method so guys i've already kept all the wax over here it's literally almost full so i want to make like footy candles with this so yeah, so let's just try on our new melter. Let me just cover it. First of all, this is the cover. So yeah, I've covered it. So I just want to put it on. Let's just put it on. And yeah, you can see it's already on over there. Yeah, so we'll just wait for it to just boil. <laughs> I mentioned earlier just ensure that you always wipe down your surfaces because there could be so much spillage and just also for hygienic purposes just ensure that your surfaces are really really clean and then also ensure that you also have a dustbin next to you because once you wipe down so many things you're going to also be throwing away so many things at the same time <music> Like to be the one that 
he turns to when he starts and answers What's it like to be the one that he comes to when he wants to dance and put on some music and just enjoy myself throughout the entire process sometimes it can be very very lonely but you know you just get something to entertain you and enjoy as you can see i'm dancing over here because i'm really enjoying what it is that i do so just ensure that at least you entertain yourself um have fun enjoy what you're doing and make memories because each and every candle um making day has its own story so enjoy yourself when you're at it What's it like to hold his hand when he tells you that you're all he wants and it's midnight oh I'm thinking about him I have got him on my mind but he doesn't know my name man I'm running out of time I wish you felt the same and I'm not this stupid like every day don't know what to do hi guys so a quick update i have just wiped down all these jars over here and now this is how they look like now the next thing i'm going to do is wick them so yeah that's how it's looking like and then on this other side let's check on the wax Ooh, wow i love that i really really love that look at how it's really look 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 oh gosh love it love it love it love it let me just stir it so that all these ones can just melt nice i love it so when it comes down to wicking ensure that your candles are properly wicked the best way of achieving that is always doing a wick test just to see how um, the wick is performing throughout the particular jar and also ensure that in everything that you do make sure you always test it but if you think that you know you've achieved um, the best of wicks always keep on trying new things so that you can find out what exactly works for you and what exactly works for your business so just ensure that you always get the right wigs for your particular jar and that needs wig testing i know that we would never work i know that someone would get hurt to let you go should be easy but it's not hard cause the problem is i love you what to do i count to three when you're next to me i love you what to do now do now only problem is i love you what to do you got me bound make my world spin round i love you what to do now i want then i recently got this uh wick holders i think they look like the popsicle sticks and first of all i love the color but then the first time i tried using them i was just like what the hell have i gotten myself into but then i realized that when i bent down the wick it actually held the wick much better as compared to just leaving it um standing like the way it is right now so in case you have this type or these types of wick holders just ensure that once you've already uh, settled them or laid down the wicks just bend the wick just like any side either the right the the left side whichever side it is that you want and then once you pour the wax then it will hold the wick properly these ones again i got them off from amazon
and now that the wax is ready and it is pouring so smoothly which i'm so excited about and mixing the fragrances is just going to be so much easier so i'll just add in the fragrances and just start pouring and it's that simple it's literally that simple but when it comes to the math you always have to do the math that one you cannot avoid it at all costs Also, I know I'm supposed to give you guys uh, details on the candle making class, but currently right now I'm just focusing on the rebranding and the relaunch. So after that, once all that is settled, I'll now um, give you guys details on the candle making class. Uh, so please bear with me at the moment and I am just going to give you guys the proper details when everything is ready. But nevertheless, I cannot wait to share with you guys the experience. I cannot wait to, you know, just teach you guys how to make candles and just have fun and getting to know you guys on a personal level. I think that's what's even much more important because that way you get to understand and learn in a better and more intimate way. So I am so happy and I cannot wait to, you know, just bond with you guys, learn together, share ideas so yeah it's going to be a really really good time as you pour the wax ensure that you are very gentle because if you do it too fast then you can cause a lot of air bubbles and they're going to cause a lot of sinkholes so just ensure that you pour very gently and just be very keen in everything that you're doing to ensure that at least you get very very good candles out of the entire process so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video this brings us to the end of our candle making together i hope you guys enjoyed in case you have any questions please feel free to leave them on the comment section and i'll be in a position to answer also in case you have not watched the frequently asked questions about my candle making please go ahead to that video and enjoy yourself so until next time i'll show you guys the outcome of these candles enjoy yourselves have a lovely day ahead. Bye.